So as you guys all know about the Samsung second screen issue that's been going around, such as with this tablet right over here, and I posted a video one to two years ago about fixing that issue, but some of you guys are commenting down below that the issue has not been fixed, it's not working, this, that, blah, blah, blah. So I'm coming back today with another fix. And this fix is not like with the Samsung, it is actually using a third party software, but this is actually much more better than the Samsung second screen. So without wasting any time, let's jump on right into it. So what you want to first do is on your tablet, you wanna open your Play Store app. And then on your Play Store app, you want to go search and then you wanna download Space Desk. This right over here. And you wanna download Space Desk USB display for PC, install that. Once that's downloaded, press open and then you will be brought to this window, right over here. And then what you want to do is go back, go into your settings, and then down here you want to go into the about, make sure developer mode is on, which you can turn on if you go to the uh, software information and tap on your build number like 10, 15 times, and it will like turn on the developer mode. And when you want to go into developer mode, you want to search for USB debugging. Make sure that is turned on because without that, this will not work. And then once that's done, you want to open up any of your browser. And then on here, you want to search for Space Desk Driver Console. This works for Windows 10, 11, any. It should be the first link right over here, as you can see. This one, spacedesk.net, you want to click open. And then right over here, you can see this option for driver download. It works for Windows 10, 11, and works for 8.1 as well. So you wanna download that. So I've already downloaded it, and I can see right over here, it should be space desk driver console, just like this. And then for this app, you can use this wirelessly or wired mode, but I'm gonna show you the wired mode because that has the least amount of latency. It's like quick, quick. So come over here onto your app and then you want to go tap on this, tap on settings because we have to tweak some settings. So you want to choose custom resolution. Make sure it is set to the highest provided for your tablet, which is 2560 by 1600. Click apply. Then click on the rotation. You can turn on auto rotate if you want to. For image quality, I'd set this to high and I set this to 60 FPS. Rendering mode should be whatever you like and encoding depth you can do a high quality slow speed i usually keep it to medium so that it's fast and at the same time audio you can turn on as well now what you want to do is make sure you go onto your app make sure this is enabled you want to go to your network adapters and you want to turn this usb cable android on now of course if you have an ipad you can turn on the usb cable ios one but we're going to use since we're doing an android tablet we're going to do android and then from here, you want to take a cable. It can be Type-C, Type-C. I'm using a USB to Type-C cable. And just hook it up. As you can see, just hook it up just like this. And then one in your tablet right here. So this is the tablet. Make sure the app is running. And then let's just plug it in. And then down here, you can see it says Open Space Desk. So you wanna press, or you can do always, so always so that this pop-up doesn't work, so you press okay. And then everything just changes, screen, and then boom, it has been connected. So as you can see, I can bring my uh, tablet right down over here. As you can see, no delay whatsoever. You can see I bring it over here, over here. It works perfectly. This also works with touch screen, I'm pretty sure. So let's see, so if I like, for example, I bring, the Nahimic down over here, as you can see, I press speaker, it works, optimized device, so it works, yes. So touch screen also works. So all of you guys out there, like the creative people who use like Photoshop and everything, so you can just move the pen and you can start working just like this. Oh yeah, the window is moving, just like that. So that is gonna be it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure, if you did, make sure to drop a like, also subscribe down below. And make sure to comment down below if you guys like this fix over here. See you guys next time. Peace.